All right, boys and girls, today we are continuing our lesson with the geography of Mali. Let's read our I can statement um, before we start our map together. I can describe the geography of Mali. Tell me some things that you've already learned about Mali today. Yes, ma'am? It was in Africa. Africa is a what? What is that? It's the name of a continent. Good. Did you learn anything else about Mali on Africa? Yes, ma'am. Uh, um, so, so they used what when they're building? Yes, yeah, so they used mud when they built. Um, thank you for reading that when I asked you to read that. That was very good. Thank you. Um, something about the major desert. Does anyone remember the major des desert from Mali? Yes, sir. The Sahara Desert. The Sahara Desert. Good. Um, or Sahara Desert. Depends on how you say it. Is there anything else you learned about Mali today? Yes, ma'am. Niger, uh-huh. They had the Niger River. Good. Um, and what kind of um, things that have in the physical environment, how would you describe the physical environment of Mali? What two um, terrestrial environments did it have? Yes, ma'am? It was like a desert, it was like a desert and, and grassland. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to use this map together, and we are going to um, follow directions and map um, the physical environment of Mali. So I'm going to switch over here really quick and we're going to look at our directions for putting Mali on the world map. Oops. Goodness gracious. Just a second. Okay. So our first step, somebody read our first step. Yes, ma'am. Add a compass rose. A compass rose does what? It tells us, yes, ma'am the direction. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add my compass rows. I'm just going to do these ones first. We'll go to the very top over here, everyone. North, right? What goes down here? South. What's on this side? East. And West. Now, we also have these directions. So, what is the direction that is in between north and east, everyone? Northeast, good. What is the direction between south and east, everyone? Southeast, southeast good. What is the direction between south and west, everyone? Southwest. southwest. And what is the direction in between north and west? Northwest, northwest. northwest. good. Just like Miss West, right? Um, we will use the colors in just a moment. You need to do exactly what I'm doing up on the board up here. I'll know that you have labeled your compass rose when you have two thumbs up in the air and your pencil is on your desk. Thank you. I see about four of my friends are ready to go. Thank you, those four friends, for making sure that you're tracking along. I see another friend ready to go. Use your pencil for this part, please because we're using our colors for a very specific thing. Thank you, ma'am, for following along. Keep those thumbs high in the air, just so I can make sure that everyone has tracked along. Do you need something, bud? Are you looking? Do you got what you need? Do you have the colors you need? Okay. Do you have the colors you need? Okay, now that most of you have that, um, we're going to go look and see what our next set of directions is. If we've done number one, say hoo-ha. Oh, we've done number one. All right, who can read number two to me? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm, prime meridian. Mm -hmm. Equator. Uh huh. Uh huh. And label each with a 
pencil good now um, because I didn't have you get a black crayon out we are just going to be using our pencil um, let's start with the equator what directions does that follow is that north to south or east to the west yes sir east to west so just so that you can see it a little bit better I'm going to do mine in red but you are doing yours in your pencil so I'm going to trace my equator what hemispheres does this split the world into just to review what we did oh my goodness so long ago what hemispheres do we see here we see the north uh, northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere good so this is the equator you don't need to label the hemispheres but just those things so we see the equator and just so you can see I'm going to label my prime meridian in um, pink but you're going to label yours in pencil now what directions does the prime meridian follow so let's go east to west or north to south yes ma'am very good north to south now if that goes north to south then what two hemispheres does that split us into if the equator did the northern and southern hemispheres then prime meridian must do he thinks they knows uh-huh western east hemisphere is good now I'm gonna label this I'm gonna draw an arrow so you can see the prime meridian You can put your pencil down and thumbs up when you have that. Ooh, a lot of my friends have tracked along with this one. Thank you. Thank you for making sure that you're listening. If you can't see the equator, what you could do is you could kind of squiggle it a little bit just so you could see exactly where it is. Does that make sense, bud? With the black? Just because I didn't have you get them out yet. If you have a black one, you can retrace it later if you want. It's up to you. Because you're going to use this to um, help you with your homework. What text feature do I see here? This isn't in the middle of a text, but if this was on a te text, this is a map. Thank you. I, ho I hope you guys know what a map is, right? We've done those so much this year, and you guys have rocked it. Um, so we're going back. If we have done number one and two, say hoo-ha. Hoo Thank you. All right, number three, I'm going to go ahead and read it. Uh, you may read it with me. Draw in the modern boundaries of Bali. Shade a light green to represent the grasslands. Shade in a light to represent what? Desert. So watch really carefully because we're going to do this in steps together. So with my pencil, so this first part's with your pencil. Molly is right over here. So we're not going to have exactly what it looks like, but Molly is somewhere about right there. Give me a thumbs up when you have done that little outline of Molly. You can do this with pencil on your own paper, this part. I'll let you know when to use the color, okay? Can I borrow your book, hun, real quick? Hey, hun, can I borrow this real quick? Oh, wait, I can walk up there. My headphones don't really reach. Just to make sure that we... Yeah, okay. Now... Picking up your brown colored pencil, crayon, whatever you have. We're going to use brown. And we're going to shade most of it in brown. So don't color the whole thing in brown. Just color most of it. And the rest is going to be what color? Green. green. And in fact, I'm going to do a little bit of green. And I'm going to do bit more brown right there we're not going to do blue yet um, what is this thing that we just colored this is the empire of Molly so I'm just going to write Molly next to it pencils down and thumbs up when you have that I love seeing these pencils go down and I love seeing these hands go up these thumbs go up or hands yes sir what's your question I didn't hear what you said, bud. Yes, you may use markers. That's fine with me. Here you go. Right about there is Molly. Okay. Thank you for asking politely. Okay. Raise your hand if you see a box 
at the bottom of your paper. Can someone give me the title of that box, Maddie? Legend, good. Um, what do we use a legend for? Does anyone know? Yes, ma'am. Right, it's like a map key so you can tell what colors mean what. So in your legend, now I don't have the exact legend down here, so I'm just going to use this space as my legend. I need you to get your brown, and I need you to kind of color a circle. What did the brown represent? Yes, ma'am? It represented what about Molly? Uh-huh. What was the physical environment that it represented? Mm -hmm, like in the desert. Yeah, right. So the brown is the desert. I think I just actually spelled dessert. That's not how you spell desert. Desert is with one S. Not the dessert. Like there's no ice cream there. And then our green, everybody represents grassland. And did Molly have more grassland or desert? desert. Right, desert and not dessert desert. They don't have more ice cream than they have grass. That's why you got to make sure your spelling is really good because then people might think that you're talking about the ice cream that people in Mali like to eat. But that is not what we were talking about. That was not our I can't statement today. So we have that. Yeah, they might not. I, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if they have that or not. Mm -hmm. Pencils down, thumbs up when you're done. Thank you. We have a couple more things to get through, so we need to track along quickly. Um, if we've done one through three, say hoo-ha. Hoo-ha. Hoo -ha. Um, now, we have the next one says to label the Mediterranean Sea and to label the Atlantic Ocean and to label the African continent. We're going to do all three of those in a uh, lump together. Now, what I want you to do is with your finger so I can see where you're pointing. I'd like you to point to the Atlantic Ocean. Where is it on this map? Very good. Right up here? Very, okay. So the Atlantic Ocean is over here. So if this is the Atlantic Ocean, you could say it's what of Mali? What direction would you use? Would you say it's north, south, east, or west of Mali? Yes, sir? West. So we're drawing the Atlantic Ocean... Just labeling it. You can do this in pencil. I accidentally did it in green. I can't see it in green. Yeah, let me, I'll erase that so you can see it better. So we have the Atlantic Ocean. Mm -hmm. At Atlantic Ocean. So we have that in there. So we need to label the Atlantic Ocean. We also need to label Africa. So once you have at the Atlantic Ocean labeled, I'd like you to use your finger to point to Africa on your paper. That's fine. I'll know that you're ready when you have your finger on Africa. I see lots of fingers on Africa, so I'm going to go ahead and label mine Africa. Pencils down, thumbs up when you have that. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> is that a thumb down? You're not done or thumb up? Oh, you are now. Okay. I was a little bit confused. Okay. I see lots of thumbs up. So, the last one we have to label is the Mediterranean Sea. And I remember from my studies of Rome that there is a trick we can use to find the Mediterranean Sea. Does anyone remember what that trick is? Yes, ma'am. Look for the boot. Now, because this map is smaller than you're used to, it might be kind of hard to see where the boot is, but I want you to try to find it on your own paper. I want you to remember where you found Rome, and I want you to find that boot, and that's going to show you where the Mediterranean Sea is. Then stick your finger on it, if you know where it is. Ooh, I think you do know where it is. Very nice. I can see it from here. 
I want you to look around at your table and I want to see if your partners picked the same thing. And I want you to give me thumbs up, thumbs sideways, thumbs down. Report to me how you guys did. Bring it up here. So you see the boot right there? It's real tiny. All right, I am seeing some thumbs sideways, some thumbs up. So it looks like we're about tracking there. Um, so if you found that, it's okay if you guys didn't find it. That's fine. We'll find it together. If you found that the boot was right here, you were correct because I see the foot and the little heel of the boot. So I'm going to go ahead and outline that whole body of water. And I know, what is that body of water, everyone? The Mediterranean Sea. I want you to do that in black, so in your pencil. Bring it up here and I'll show you. I'm, you need to make sure that you label yours, please. So MEDC, that's our abbreviation for what? Mediterranean Sea. So you see right here on your map how um, it's like right there. So that's kind of the foot right there and that's the heel of the boot. It's kind of like the leg. I know it doesn't look exactly like a boot, but you just gotta you gotta use your imagination, right? Just gonna label your Mediterranean Sea. Pencils down, thumbs up when you have that, because we're gonna keep moving along. We only have a couple more things to do. Pencils down, thumbs up. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, all of my friends. Are we here yet? I have like a couple more friends. Keep those thumbs up so I know that you're ready. If you put it back down, that makes me think that you forgot something. All right, most of my friends have tracked along now. Um, if not, all, right, all my friends are here now. So we're going to look. If we have done one through seven, say hoo ha. Hoo -ha. All right, now. We labeled the African content. So, uh, content. Oh, we haven't done number seven yet. So, we need to label the Sahara Desert in light brown, and we need to label the Niger River in blue. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come up, and with your finger, I want you to point to the uh, Sahara Desert. With your finger, you're pointing to the Sahara Desert. Follow my directions, please. I'll take your question in just a minute. All right, so with my brown, since we've already colored it, I'm just going to draw an arrow, and I'm going to write the Sahara Desert. That should be capitalized. Yep. Not the Sahara Desert. The Sahara Desert. Not the Sahara Ice Cream. Yes, sir. I can't hear you, bud. That's okay. Just cross it out if you mess up. Okay, then you know you know what's supposed to go there. As long as you know what it's supposed to be. And as long as you label it correctly. It's okay if there's a little mistake on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Use your book where we found it when we use our text features. Use your book to find it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, you use brown. Oh, I love how you used your text features to find that word so you could find the correct spelling. Thanks for going back. All right, so we did that. And then we have to label the Niger River in blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our blue and we're going to draw a little line to the grasslands from the ocean. And that is the what river? Niger, yes. Just a second, honey. N-I-G-E-R... River. Yes, ma'am, what was your question? It's fine. You can still use it. Look back in your book. If you can't find it, then look back on page 28 where you found it earlier so you can get the correct spelling. We are moving on to fourth grade, so we are becoming more independent spellers. Yes, sir. Have you finished labeling? Yes, you may go. Yes, you may color in. Yeah, you can color in that uh, the Niger River in blue lightly. Pencils down and thumbs are up when you have all of those things. What do you mean? Yes. 
And then down here in your legend, we're going to add a little blue. And we're going to label this again. What did our blue represent, everyone? The Niger, Niger River. The Niger River. Let's make of that. Very good. Do you have that, bud? In your uh, in your legend, that blue represents the Niger River. You have it. Thank you. I see how many thumbs do I see? I see one thumb, two thumbs, three, four, five. Ooh, six. Look at these friends tracking along with me. How about you, bud? Do you got it? All right, let me see those thumbs. Oh, there they are. Okay, good. All right, you're good. You're good. All right. Now let's go back to our directions, see if we missed anything. Um, did we label the Sahara Desert in brown? Say whoo ha if we did. Did we draw the Niger River in blue? Say whoo ha if we did. Um, you can go to the hallway and get it. Um, did we fill in the map legend blue equals the Niger River, brown equals the Sahara Desert, green equals grassland? If we did that, say whoo ha. All right, our last direction say on the back of the map, list the physical characteristics of Molly that we learned about today. We are going to discuss what we have learned about Molly and list our responses on the board. Students may copy the responses from the board. Now, that is not um, what we are going to do, so we changed our idea. So instead, what we're going to do is you are responsible for homework tonight. Um, flip on the back of that map. It's stapled together, so the back of the page. So in the right on the back, it says Monday homework on the top. So what you're going to do for homework tonight is you are going to answer those questions about Molly. And tomorrow, when you come back, we're going to do a number 10 set, and we're going to go through it. So we're going to kind of see what you remember from our reading in class today. Capiche? Capiche. Thank you.